we will install a gas burner over a container of cold water. We will bring the glass tube to the fire and wait until the glass drops falls into the water, where it will instantly freeze. In addition to the drop itself, a thin glass thread freezes through which we will get them. Just look at how beautiful it is, but besides that, it's also very strong. You can't even break it with a hammer. But there's a trace left on the metal. And again. But it is worth pressing on the tail of the drop as it literally explodes, scattering into small fragments. Look at it in slow motion. Fill the aquarium with water and put a piece of glass inside with the drawn circle. Let's take scissors and attention now. Cut the circle out of the glass. Yes, you heard it right. Underwater, you can cut glass with scissors. It's not as easy as cutting paper, but it's possible. Here is such a glass circle we have turned out to be. Not quite exactly, but the main thing is that it works. Take a glass and then swipe it with the moistened finger. Interesting sound, but what happens if you pour water into a glass? The glasses sound the same, but if you put something light on one of them, you can see that they resonate with each other. Let's take an ordinary glass bottle, pour alcohol into a bowl, and dip a bond to twine into it. Soak it well and wrap it around the center of the bottle. We set it on fire and begin to turn the bottle smoothly while the fire is burning. As soon as it goes out, we drop the bottom to the water with the sharp movement and it divides into three parts. Although there are failures, well, success. Look at the slice, not the smoothest, but also not bad. Fill the bottle with water almost to the neck. And then we deliver a powerful blow with the palm of our hand. Okay, one more. The bottom of the bottle is knocked out. Although perhaps not only the bottom, the pressure inside just breaks the bottle. Look what happened to them. We wrap the neck of the bottle with wire and twist it and pull the free end into a resulting loop. Cut off the excess and twist it for reliability. It turns out to be such a pain. Now, heat the bottle with the burner until the glass gets hot and becomes soft and malleable. Now, it remains to pull the handle in the right direction let the glass cool down. Look at the fancy bottles we've made. Why, it's even more convenient this way. Take a car glass window. It's hardened, which means you can't just break it. Then let's take the spark plugs, and specifically this part, and throw them into the glass. It shattered into small pieces incredibly. Let's try again. Okay, one more time. Well, for the third time, it will definitely work out. 
Yes, it crashed. We need a glass vessel in the shape of a cylinder. Look, the egg looks just like a balloon. Oh, and this refraction of light? Okay, let's be serious. Let's put this plastic plate on top, toilet paper tube, and the egg on top. Now knock it over and the egg falls exactly into it. Now three eggs. How about five? Easy? All five eggs fall right in the water. This time we will use boiled eggs hard boiled and peeled from the shell. Boil your water in a kettle. Be careful with the boiling water. Pour it into a bottle. And when it heats up, pour it into a bowl. Now, let's put the egg on top of the neck and just watch the wonders of physics. The egg literally pulls in. Did you hear that? Let's look again from the close angle. egg goes in the bottle. The same trick can be done with the burning piece of paper. The fire will burn all the oxygen inside and the egg will be drawn inside even faster. For the next experiment, I got this aquarium. How's the view? Fill the aquarium with water almost to the edge. And now, we break the raw egg inside. It immediately goes to the bottom, but it's not as simple as that. Using our fingers, we create a funnel in the water and the white egg makes it visible. Just look, it's a real egg tornado. And in the center of the storm, of course, is the yolk, which does not even think of spreading unlike egg white, which particles have already spread throughout the aquarium. For the next experiment, we'll need an empty shell, but first, I'll show you how to make it. To begin with, you will need two small holes on opposite side of the egg. Now, let's take a plastic bottle and make a hole in the bottom. Fill it with water, which immediately begins to flow through the hole. But for now, we'll plug it with the finger. We fix the prepared egg on the neck of the bottom of the clay. And now you remove the finger from the bottom of the bottle and watch how the pressure will put out the entire contents of the egg, like this. Rinse the shell in water and to remove the remaining moisture, blow into one of the holes. Now put the shell in a glass container filled with vinegar. Under its influence, calcium, which the most part of the shell consists of, dissolves. However, the inner membrane will remain intact. After one or two days, we will remove the membrane from the vinegar. Rinse it thoroughly to get rid of the precipitation. Now, dry with the hair dryer to remove all excess moisture. Inflate the membrane so that it returns to its original egg shape. And just look! Now we have a rubber egg. It is elastic and it bounces well off surfaces, just like a real ball. In this experiment, we're working with chemicals, so let's not forget about our protective equipment. Let's take an empty egg, as in the last experiment, as well as alkaline pipe cleaner, water, and aluminum. We dissolve the alkali in the water and add aluminum to start the chemical reaction. When the hydrogen vapors start coming out of the neck of the bottle, we will plug it with our empty egg so that they accumulate inside the shell. Now, we will install the shell on a stand and ignite it with the gas that comes out through the hole. But do not repeat such experiment at home. It's very dangerous. Meanwhile, our shell explodes. Look, let's look at that again in slow motion. Wow, what a powerful explosion. Don't try this at home. Well, at the end, we will conduct a small crash test of an ordinary chicken egg. We will fix the egg on two coils of duct tape and gradually put barbells weighing 3.2 kilograms on top. Let's see how much of that it can withstand. 3 kilograms, 6 kilograms, 9 kilograms, wow! 
I didn't think it could withstand so much. 12.8 kilograms. Meanwhile, the weight is as much as 16 kilograms. Nineteen kilograms turned out to be an unbearable burden for our egg. It turns out the maximum load that an egg can withstand is somewhere between 16 and 19 kilograms. <laughs>